Okay, with all the colds and flu going around right now, it's good to think of a teaching that the Buddha gave, which is that even though the body may be sick, the mind doesn't have to be sick. This is why we meditate, is give the mind a place to stay, even when the body's not doing well. You can stay with the breath. At least one part of the body can be comfortable. Look around where the, where the sensation of the breathing feels good, and you focus your attention right there. And as for the rest, you just let it go. You don't have to carry the illness around. You don't have to carry the pain around. You give yourself a good foundation. And you remind yourself that the body's not yours. All those other feelings are not yours. I mean, you have the choice of taking them on or not taking them on. That's the value of the not-self teaching. It's that gives you, a, reminds you, you have the choice of what to identify with. So right now you can identify with the comfortable sensation of the breathing. If the breathing doesn't feel good, you can change it. Make it longer, shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. There's lots to play with. And you hold on right there. It's like there's a storm outside. When the weather is nice, you can go out anywhere and lie down on the ground with no problem. When there's a storm outside, there are only a few places where you can go. You have to go find shelter someplace. So give yourself a good shelter. And the same with the body. When the storm of a disease is going through the body, you find your shelter someplace inside. If you can't find a good place inside, well, think of the space around the body. There's always some place that the mind can focus its attention. And then the question is how long you can keep it focused there. Because the mind that hasn't been trained just gets easily distracted. The slightest little noise and it jumps here, the slightest little thing and it jumps there. And you have to train yourself to resist that temptation to jump after things. You've got something good, so you hold on here. It's like you know, you step outside into the storm, you're going to get wet, you're going to get cold. You stay inside, you're nice and warm. And dry. So you just learn how to stay here. Learn how to keep the mind in one place. This is what we develop mindfulness and alertness for. Mindfulness is to remind ourselves this is where you want to stay. Alertness is to be alert to any little temptation to go slipping off someplace else. And then you can also use the alertness to get more interested in the breath. To what extent can the breath actually be used to help relieve some of the pains in the body? Once you've got something comfortable going, what can you do to spread that sense of comfort around? So there are things to explore here in this shelter that you create for yourself. And remember that whatever illnesses there may be in the body, they don't have to be in the mind. That way you protect what's most important.